What's happening, motherfuckers, and welcome to the Rambling Dad podcast. I'm here today with Leroy as a guest. No, I'm not. We're here to watch UFC Vegas 90 people, Brandon Allen versus Chris Curtis. Let's go. Thoughts on the card so far, Mr. Leroy? Oh, man. I think a sleeper card. I mean, the, the build up to UFC 300 is, is clearly going to uh, shadow this, this event, but it is it's delivering. I've been yeah. thoroughly uh, entertained all night. Yeah, it was pretty good until we got to Volta Volta. You know what I mean? Or yeah, yeah, that, that was pretty. That was some weak sauce. Agreed. All right, let's get some peeps up in this bitch and share this stream. Did I mean? And if you're watching this, smash that fucking like button. You're all down. Cunt. Too strong. No, mate. Perfect. Could have gone a little bit deeper. Wait, these, these lads are going at it, man. Pete Campbell is fucking getting after it. I know, mate. That, this was one of those ones where it was underdog or nothing. You know what I mean? If you're going for a bet, so it was literally yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> you go, go for peak or don't put fuck all on this. Like, I, I thought this was a uh, I thought this was a great value for an underdog for sure. Yeah. We got one motherfucker in the house. I bet you anything is Robbie Brown. Come on, Robbie Brown. Where you at? I'm at three minutes. Show yourself. Uh, I'm three minutes as well, mate, with sound. Nice. Uh, right, let's go and get this stream and post it to the old Twitter. You're, back, you're backing up last night with a few cold ones or what? Yeah, mate, yeah. Uh, well, we went to, uh, what are you saying, Arj? What's going on, bro? Um, Robin went to Brown golf. in the building. Went to Golfang, mate. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's probably just a British thing, to be honest with you. It's like a mini golf, but it's like mini just golf messed up. Best. Yeah, like for adults, mini golf for adults. So like it's, it's a bar in there, and the one that we went to in Glasgow, oh, yeah. like an old, old, uh, like industrial warehouse. Trevor Peaks putting the work in, bro. Um, old industrial warehouse that they've like changed into this mini golf place, but it's just like proper garagey. You know what I mean, like loads of graffiti everywhere, neon lights, all that kind of shit. Decent tunes on. Long just walking around play playing mini golf, fifth, man. I'm there. Yeah, well, the uh, the package that we bought was like, um, fucking a game of mini golf and you got two drinks so we got drink tokens so i walked in and just said right what's uh what's going to cost you guys the most money out of these drink tokens and the guy was like that ghetto punch right there it's got three different kind of rums in it and some other shit i was like sound and uh if anybody in the uk if anybody in the uk actually fucking seen it they'd be shut down because we have to do the measurements 25 mil 50 mil these motherfuckers were just pouring this stuff 25 and 50 yeah that's a shot and a double shot Oh, that's yeah. fucking sad. You know what a shot in, in uh, New Zealand is? Open your mouth and keep pouring until you choke. 60 mil. 60 for yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's well, more so, than a so fucking we, double. We got, a, we got a 30 mil thimble, but you always double it up when you pour a shot. Right, okay. Like, you, even the bar staff double it up when they pour a shot. Go figure. 25 mil, yo. Man, that's like uh, that's getting pretty close to uh, the US. Yeah, the uh, laws over here are just getting stricter and stricter as well. Every single fucking year, mate, they're getting stricter. Yeah, that's right. It's ridiculous as well. You've been you've been watching all of this card, Robbie. Yeah, you've seen it all. Oh, mate, Trevor, I mean, you, in you that go, work, but I mean, take a chat. take a holiday to New Zealand and get yourself a couple doubles. That'll sort Ooh, you out. I think that's why the U, uh, UK uh, tourists like going to Spain a lot, mate. Yeah, you know I mean, get over to fucking get Spain and they right. start yeah, pouring well, you, you, yeah, you start pouring you funny drinks. But the the British can't handle the booze as much as they wanna wanna say that they can. They can't, mate. Right. Australians can't handle their booze, and we've built an entire culture off of that fact. You just move on. I'm not going to lie. There was not a chance I thought this fight was going to make it out of the first round, but here we are. Yeah, me neither. But, pardon me. Who did you have again? Uh, Charlie Campbell. I thought he's, uh, he's striking, and his output is just that little bit more crisp. He seemed like since the uh, since the uh, the Chris Duncan fight, he's just been a little bit more calculated too. So I thought, this is you know I mean? this is uh, Ola's peak. Peak's uh, like all all or nothing. He is, he is, and and like if he has a, a 
a few more bouts with success, he'll be he'll be right up there with the superstars, man. Like, oh, one hundred percent. He's already a fan favorite for those who know him. He's he's good value. Just for his style, man. You know what I mean? Because he goes in there he, swinging. He has that uh, that everyday guy appeal, you know. Yeah. Everyone can relate to him. This is uh, Ola's uh, underdog of the week. And yeah. I was thinking that it's a good underdog of the week pick, but it needed to come in the first round. I don't, I don't yeah, it's a, it, yeah, it's a solid one, like, but that's it. It needed to be in the first because I almost went to it as well, but I was like, no, nah, I'm going to stick with Charlie Campbell. Yeah, Big good. emo Diego Wopes in the background there. <clears throat> or oh, Wopez, whatever his name is. That's another one that's tough to pick for next week, man. I've been writing up those yeah. bets today. I'm just like, God damn, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not, the, it's not the easiest matchup for him to be going in there and just fighting the way that he fights, to be honest with you. But it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. Like, next week's going to be insane, bro. Like, from start to finish. I actually can't even wait. It's wild, man. It's even wild. Like, so many people talk shit about that card. And like, wait, this card is fucking stacked. I know, mate. Imagine Figueredo and Galbrandt kicking off the night. Like, that is wild, mate. It's insane to think that that's, that's, a, that's a main That's an early prelim. Early prelim. Yeah, you know I mean, the first fight on an early prelim is Figueredo versus Garbrandt. There we go. Come on, Charlie Campbell. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, we can get it right up him. So what are you all drinking? More than the Stellas. Estrellas. Oh, hey. <laughs> Where's that from? Is that Spain? Yeah, Barcelona. Estrella, damn. It's cheap as chips in Barcelona. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. Like because it's it's made there. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's like it's a decent yeah, yeah, pint. It's, it's probably the, the cheapest the, one. Yeah, yeah there's no the import meat, export yeah. bullshit on it. So no tariffs, especially being uh, UK's bound. Yeah, mm -hmm. tariffs up right and center these days, huh? Especially in Scotland, mate. Scotland have worse minimum unit pricing and all sorts, and you can only buy booze from the hours of ten till ten. You can't buy it outside of that. Oh my god, Scotland is like Australia, I swear. It's I know, mate, and there's so many alcoholics there too, it's unbelievable. And the thing with these restrictions, that's the, that's the comparison. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke, by the way, because they think these restrictions are going to make a difference, but they actually just don't. You know what I mean, people just pay the money to get drunk, they don't care. You know what's wild? I'm in uh, Quebec now, right? Yeah. So, where you go to get petrol in your car, the gas station, the servo, the, the petrol station, whatever you call it, that's where you are supposed to buy beer from. The you servo. Get, the servo. So the, the gas station, right? So do not encourage drink driving. You're supposed to buy your beer from the place that you drive to to get fuel. That's <laughs> ridiculous. I fucking love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's hilarious. Like, oh, honey, I'm, I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna go and put some fuel in the car. Get some back fuel fucking, in the car. Exactly. Yeah, coming back with a twelve pack. What happened? Okay. Oh, they had a deal one at the servo. I couldn't say no. I'm a, I'm Australian. We only buy slab minimum. Fucking wild, mate. No, Charlie so, Campbell so, turning it round now. It's the first place I've ever lived that you can buy booze when you go do your grocery shopping. Can you do that in Quebec? Because when I was in Winnipeg, you actually had to go to a... Yeah, when I was in BC, you had to go to a designated... Like, you had yeah, to go to like a liquor Apple. store or whatever yeah, it was, yeah. Store, yeah. But uh, in Quebec, it's like the US. You, you go to uh, you go to the bloody grocery shop or your gas station and you can get, get booze. All right, okay. You reckon Charlie Campbell might get a sub? Something's going down. Oh, in Chinatown. Shit. He just walked him. Game was on the oh. back with you. Oh, Trevor Pete might get it. He's going for the single leg. I'm at one minute. Campbell needs to be careful. Yeah, I'm at the one minute mark as well. He did well. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are these boys fighting underwater? 
Oh, shit. I think they're like hurting each other and then kind of recovering and hurting one another again and kind of recovering. Yeah, like, why am I reacting? I got both of these boys got a fucking chance. They're being crap. You're losing now, Joe. Robbie, I told you I was losing. I've had the terrible two weeks ever, bro. Like, the worst fucking two weeks ever. Hey, Robbie, spam the chat if you want me to pull up some graphs. No, don't pull up any graphs. <clears throat> nobody nobody wants to see those graphs. <laughs> Who thought this would be making it into the third round? Jesus Christ. Wow. Is it, Keith, is it worth the Keith money Peterson's right now to put diet the down fight. on the... He probably says, do it. Let's go. <laughs> go fuck yourself. I'll, I'll pull up one. This one. I mean, it's your, it's your stream. I won't do it if you don't want me to. If you Do it, mate. Do it. No, I, will you, own, I will own my losses and listen, revel in my victories. It, I get it. I'd be pretty embarrassed too, so, you know. That's a pretty... You know what? I actually don't know where it is. You're pretty lucky. I can't pull it off. Good. Good. What are you saying, Arj? I want to see them graphs. Drop them out. Let me see them titties. Oh, Take here, it on. Look at those tig old biddies. Every yellow is looking nice. Nipples looking real pretty. Come on, let me get into Richie boobs. Ah, look at that drop off, bro. Look at that drop off. That's a steep Fucking... decline right there. There it was, wasn't it? It's almost like your fucking hair wine, you dick. Yeah. But like you were saying, yours is the only graph that required a uh, a 12 marker, you know? Everyone else has only goes to 10. You, you're above 12. I know, yet. mate. I know, mate. I'm the only one that's hit that mark. And I'm the only one that will hit that mark. You know, up until you up until you drop off your uh, average accuracy and your average underdog I was accuracy, the most consistent, like. Bro, it was fucking wild how how clean that was to look at like i know like mate if, if you were a uh if i had a pitched you as a bot and showed the stats that you had like i would have had i would have been near on a millionaire just from the number of people who signed up <laughs> and now look at it fucking yeah pathetic. that's heavy mate like robbie said that's heavy mate <clears throat> but if you pull up everybody else's graph you'll see their declines leading up to that point too yeah you know i mean like they've all got big sways and dips bro right mine just walks worse it doesn't really help my slander if i pull up everybody else's well your fat head doesn't even fit in the screen when i go like this mate i think pete's taking this one I always just hit three points like i know we still got three minutes and 20 seconds left but have i got this kid Still set up yeah? God damn. Against, uh, no, it's the old against. Trust his dick. Pull up this side, boy. Did I copy the mirror? What's wrong? Event stats. Is the event stats? That's what I was going to say. But I bring up those event stats. See, see, tables are turning. Pull up what the did, season uh... stats. <clears throat> So here's the competition stats so far. I've still got the overall highest accuracy. 
Oh, wait, 75 competition stats? Nah, that's an old one, that, bro. Yeah, it hasn't updated. I got the wrong one. That's tonight's accuracy, yeah. Come on, shall we, bro? You got that go faster stripe in your hair. You better pull something out of the bag. Let's fucking go. Are you going this? Uh, Charlie Campbell. So it's ending I, well for him. Yeah, I think Campbell. <clears throat> but I, I think, think Campbell was fucked in the third. Maybe, probably one on one going into it, and he's definitely he's done more control in here. But he needs to land some more fucking strikes. He needs to stay active. You can't just be holding on to him. All right, is that what we're in? Boom. Let's see who takes this one. Hey, shout out, Robbie. What's he saying? Oh, he's just smashing up the chat like a mad cat. I think you're clutching there. Clutching at what? Straws. Come on, Charlie Campbell. Let's get that win in the bag. <clears throat> At least you tied for last place now, eh? Yeah, that's it. We used to always back down there with me. I'm not so lonely anymore. It's funny. He, he, he showed up to uh, second place for one week. Oh, yeah. I was about to say all of a week. Back to last. So, uh, it's funny because the last two years he's come first. And he, he, what's, he what's all we're doing anyway? I don't know. I don't know. Unanimous. Nice. Yes, mate. Charlie Campbell. Come on. Come on. Clutching at what? Is that what you're saying, Arj? I was clutching at that. Big up the boys. There's uh, Naz. What's yeah, happening, brother? It's not true what Jordan says about you, bro. Nah, mate. It's not. You're a sound guy. Like, I'm, I, was, I was bad to say otherwise. What do you make of that one, Naz? Like that should not have gone three rounds at all. At all, it's not I the fight I was up. expecting. Shall we? Your cousin Campbell looked aight. Yeah, he looked aight. Didn't look great though, did he? Oh, we've now had four decisions in a row. Start of the night, three finishes, two KOs, two KOs, one sub. Yeah. Now we're on to four decisions. But I mean, this 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 fight was worth a decision. Like both boys were getting after it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was competitive throughout. I'm, right I'm enough, 100 percent okay with a decision when it's entertaining. I was expecting a finish, though. To be honest with you, I, I was. I didn't think it was getting out of the first. 
go and go and pull up your little chart on how many finishes there's been and how many subs what? and decisions on this card. <clears throat> this card. Two KO TKOs, one sub, and then four decisions. Okay, now flat. Started off. I mean, the last oh, last four bouts have been decisions. Before that, it was all mm-hmm. finishes. Oh, what's all you? He's joining me in Birmingham. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did oh I tell you he was joining me in Birmingham? <clears throat> oh, he, he mentioned that he might be he got the credentials for it. He better be. Yeah, man. For, for, uh, <clears throat> what do you mean he might be? I fucking put in a good word for him and passed on the email. He better turn up. All right, so that's what I just said. He better be. Robbie, we're uh, we're set to go as well, mate. We got a message off Scott. Good guy, bad guy. Must be nice getting your podcast fucking advertised on uh, the middle of a UFC card. Never would have happened if Barry was still on it. Mm-hmm. Ignacio Bajo Mendes. Bro, I haven't watched Ariel in a while, but I saw that uh, I saw him post that clip of the the feud between the two female uh, wrestlers, professional wrestlers, mm-hmm. on his show. I was like. Like, I can't take this show seriously when you have shit like that on it. Like, I know, mate. The most I haven't watched them in ages. Right? Like, whether Ariel was in it on it or not, he played to it by mentioning it. And, like, I'm really sorry to X. I don't even know who the fuck that person was. Yeah. That's a straight up, like, I'm never going to watch that show again. Ever. You're going to, you're going to pan it. That's fucking- true, and that's. You know, every Robbie, you kind of you. Robbie was a big fan of Ariel Hawani, and now he's kind of dropped off in him as well. Like I was a massive fan of Ariel. I've dropped off big time. Like it's not that he, that anything's changed, but I think his exposure has changed who he who he has access to, and that yeah. access has corrupted the product. Even uh, Buckley put him in his place. Yeah, did you hear uh, Buckley on the BYM pod as well, Naz? I know you listen to that quite frequently. Like, <clears throat> said, like, Buckley knows straight up that he was like, he doesn't fuck with me. Like, when I had a win, he gave me a shout out. And then any other time, he's absolutely ignored him until he's then been on a win again. And then he shouted him out again. And it was like, when I joined the stream, he was like, oh, are we good? Are we good? I mean, he's trying to make sure that there was no yeah, hard feelings because he hadn't yeah. had him on in a while. And he was just like, yeah, you don't really fuck with me. Yeah. And so, so I, is I the guy on the left really at work him? watching fights? <laughs> no, he's not at work, dude. <laughs> George G, what's happening, bro? Hope you're enjoying your night, mate. Uh, but nah, that's uh, that's his dungeon, bro. This is my basement, man. I just got a few uh, few clips. Ariel is a typical cunt. Also yeah. joined by an Australian. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. You know, you, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Who was it? It was Beans the other day, wasn't it, on uh, Twitter? Commented on Ariel's post saying, yeah, I think I'll just stick to the fight week show. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was like, you fucking... That's, that's the video I was talking about. Where I, That's the only reason I saw his, Ariel's uh, post was because Beans had mentioned it. I was like, I watched it. I was like, what the fuck is this? The pacing's not been great tonight. It's been, I know they had one fight drop out, but they're usually a bit quicker. It's going quite slow. Like. Right, so Hopefully, uh, Leon Edwards will be at this Octagon event. So I'm going straight up to that motherfucker and asking him some questions. You're fighting in Manchester, yeah? You're getting Bilal, yeah? What's happening with that? Why would he be at the event? One of his teammates uh, is fighting at Akon Wanless. Jermaine Lewin? Hmm? Is Jermaine fighting? 
uh, uh, no, not Jermaine, uh, Akon Wanless, one of his teammates from Renegade. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and it's in Birmingham, and that's where Renegade is, so he's definitely yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be there. Yeah, dope, man. Oh, Beans, yeah. Beans on toast, mate. Nah, there's a dude on Twitter called Beans MMA. Yeah, Beans on toast. Hey, good, good lad. I'd follow him. I mean, I do, but I don't knew I'd follow him. Ask him how it'll be losing to Boal at home. <laughs> I might ask him, does he remember the name? Yeah. I I think Leon wins, but... Um, I'm Leon just... Edwards needs Aspinall for pay-per-view points. That's fair. I think if it was just Leon Edwards versus Boal headline and that, they'd probably struggle I, to sell you know tickets. Like, I rate Boal. I like Boal personally, but a lot of people like to shit on him. You know what? How much of a draw is Usman these days? Massive draw. But even when he was champion, people were saying the same shit. It's like, oh, yeah. no, he's no draw, no one gives a fuck, rah, rah, rah. And then he fell off and everyone's like, oh, I fucking love Usman. I oh, know, yeah. It's just I, how I, fickle I the, the same, community I, is at times, though. I think it's the same for uh, Leon. Like, everybody, I mean, you don't fucking head kick Usman into oblivion. I, especially Hail, something like... Hail Mary head kick. Hail Mary head kick. And no one remembers who the fuck. Everyone's tuning in to see what the fuck you're up to. It's the only reason that Masvidal is still a fucking name is because he uh, he need uh, Ben Askren to next year. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Like Mas Masvidal was quite like mid for most Masvidal of his career. Yeah, you know I mean, and then he got that he got that knee against Askren. And what else did he get? Well, it was before Askren. It was who did he fight before Askren? Uh, it was the fight before Askren that oh, ever, Darren that, Till. That, no, was that he, after Askren? No, it was before. It was before Askren. I'm sure. I'm when he knocked sure out Darren, Darren Till. Till, and then he had the Askren fight. Oh, let me let me. Oh, I need to have a look. Yeah, I need to have a little Google on that one. Like, are we Google? If Asmal ain't the main event, but I will have. More fans, Muslim polling. Yeah, there's a lot of like there's a massive Muslim community in uh in Manchester, like so that is a shout to be fair. Yeah, it was Darren Till then Ben Askren. I remember seeing Hamza video in the UK. He was greeted by an army. Yeah, mate, bare people turned up in the UK for Hamza when he arrived. Like well, he's got the fastest, he's got the record for the fastest track to three three wins, yeah, in the UFC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. something like what was it 21 days or something see to be fair ufc uh 286 usman versus uh leon free at yeah. that point right the rematch after leon took the title oh, was no, like, no, don't get yeah, me wrong yeah. like the the pre the prelims the the arena was pretty fucking empty it was just lit, like the actual fans that were there come the time towards the main event, the place was absolutely packed, but it was filled with jobbies that were like, How many rounds is the again? Yeah, What's yeah, that yeah, dude's yeah. name? And it's just like, Bro, have you like, you bought a ticket because it's a big event and you actually just want to stick it on your Insta or on your Snapchat or whatever and get clout? Like, you actually don't even know a single one of these fighters, you don't even know how many minutes are in a round. Like, it's wild how this are. sport is so top heavy in that respect. Like, all the yeah. best seats are reserved for people who have no idea what the fuck's going on. What are we saying? Hamza is famous everywhere, George. Bilal ain't that guy, sadly, but he's cool. Just calling shows and all. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, Seems well, like a few I, fights are very nice. Hamza I'm, versus William at 170 for one at last time would be amazing. Yeah, but he really struggles to get to 170. And if like he doesn't ragdoll uh, Leon in that first round, he's fucked. You know what I mean? Bilal, Bilal deserves this, and I and I like that it's happening. But Bilal's not winning this, I don't think. But he 100 don't think, deserves it. You don't think he can beat him? I think he can beat him. I just don't think he's going to. I think he can do it. It'll be that big upset. Yeah, you know I mean. Well, you you back in you back in Bilal to win that. Yeah. Oh shit! Racist. <laughs> How is that racist? You know what I mean? I'd be racist either way. I pick on that one. Well, no, you're you're only back in blow because he's white ish. He ain't white, bro. You know what I mean, he's from That's fucking. What I said ish. I 
a bit ish. White ish. What you're saying, Naz Preach? That's half the O2. They just uh, they just put them down. Damn expensive tickets for clout. Don't know how. Yeah, that's it, mate. Honestly. Yeah, that's true. And we we like so there was there was the cage side seats, then there was the four tiered seats, and then there was the next one, like the actual just like the first tiered seats. We were in the first tiered seats. We were pretty fucking close. Like we were just one up from the four. The, r- and it the was real everybody fans, in front of us. The real fans yeah. would sign a waiver on the way in saying, "I would fight somebody for better seats." Yeah, one hundred percent. Well, apparently, if you go down to the steward or something, and you say, "Yeah, there's only a couple of people in here. Any chance I can jump on?" To a better seat, they'll come and grab you if there's any of them free. Oh, for real? I've, I've never done it. No, that's what I've been told. If you ask the stewardess if she was free, that she'd let you jump on it. Maybe, mate. Is the UK? She might have an OnlyFans. <laughs> might be sub. <laughs> She's a new card girl. That one in red. I've you, not seen her went, before. You went with Ignacio on this one too, huh? Yeah, mate, Ignacio Bahamondes all the way on this one. Mate. I, I think it's a pretty easy call. Look at the size of him, man. No, no, mate. He's a monster. Ripper. Do, do, do. Yagos is fighting a literal monster right now. He, yeah, he's, uh, but he's fucking coming out fast, like an explosive. He's got her. Think he, uh, yeah, I think he's just hoping to catch him. What do you think of uh, Jow and Turner versus Moicano next week? That's a tough matchup as well. Right? It's a great fight. I think Moicano yeah. gets it done. That's what I was thinking as well. But he's got to close that distance, like it, yeah, dude. Yeah. Six, it's, six it's foot the fucking free. It's the reach that's going to be the problem. And but if he's had a whole camp to work on this, he should be all right. That was a nice uppercut from Bahamondes there. Where you at? Four minutes. On the dot? Yeah. Um, about five seconds, ten seconds ahead of you. My one hundred percent legal yeah, stream mate. is about ten seconds ahead of your one hundred percent legal stream. I think it's mad how in the states and Canada, like you've pretty much got to pay for every card, but in the UK, it's built into your BT service. You know what I mean? Like we only have to pay for like five of them, and they only changed that a few years ago, where bt and ufc striked up a deal where bt can now charge for five of them and they can pick which five in the year as well i have so, to have three separate services three separate services for a pay-per-view event i gotta have uc five pass then i gotta have a local sports channel then i gotta pay for the pay-per-view it's fucking, fucking brutal. brutal man oh He's feeding them. Spinning back kicks. Yeah, I mean, spinning back kick to the head and spinning side kick. Right, nice. Those uppercuts of money. He's got him here. It's over. No, it's not. Yeah, man, there's twice like my cousin. Same, same build. Yeah, so you, you can see there that the, the, the range is a, it's a real problem for countering. Yeah. Hey, so you, you see, he's in nice, confident like that. He's getting there. But for the most part, he's, he's just not even close to hitting the mark. He's getting clipped a few times, though. Yeah, I mean, do you take him down though? Like, what the fuck do you do? You just get dropped on from the outside. It looks like he's about an elephant, elephant uh, trunks short of distance here. How long is an elephant's trunk? Oh, oh, oh! oh you're ahead of me, bro. Shut up. Oh. Bam! Oh, oh shit! That was cold. 
Oh. I'm glad I've not. I'm glad I've not finished that top ten knockouts of the UFC so far in 2024 yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buffed. And a contender. Easy, mate. Easy money. Wow. That's what's this back. That was fucking beautiful. Look at that. Fucking crack to the body. Did you see the tweet I put out earlier about the line on uh, Bo Nickel and Cody Brundage? Like, that is insane, man. Right. It was a bit of a question mark kick that did it. Almost, yeah. Because he put the block up and the question mark came over and just capped him right on the... Right on the it was temple. right on the side of the temple, wasn't it? Yeah. Boom. Fucking beautiful. A little bit of a question mark on the end of that. Boft. See it? Oh, see his foot wobble beautiful. and everything. That's 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 giving a little bit of a tingle in my cock just watching that. <laughs> Walk off. Woo! Naz is pumped by it anyway. The kicks are deadly, but I mean Speak, speaking of partner. speaking of a tingle in my cock, what uh what belt are you in BJJ? Me, mate. Yeah. I'm a black belt. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure you're I'll a blue belt by how you talk. I'll fuck you up. You blue belt, I'm not mate. <clears throat> white nah, belt, mate, not even. white belt, and I'll spazzy white belt your ass. What what number of stripes? Oh, my gym doesn't do stripes, and I'm yeah, okay. training, and my God knows how long. My gym like. didn't either. Um, it's, it's either it's either belt or it, it's, They had they had stripes on the computer system because when they show up, like, they don't like attendance the, or, attendance the awards they, and shit. They used yeah automatically we, ha- we 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 had like a we have a, a local black belt like well a regional black belt that would come in and do the grading pieces we he would come in every so often check where people are up to have a little look across here and see how you're getting on and then he would decide i think you know the real testament though have you stopped the blue belt yes that counts it might as well be a blue belt. i think you need to get it you need to get it more than a couple of times though to be like yeah i'm at that I- level no, nah, I'm I'm calling a fluke still counts. A fluke, a von fluke joke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I'm saying that if I if I can win a, a belt in the UFC by a fucking how Mario overhand, and I can get the next belt. Yeah, up, I can get I a belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Yellow belt here, but schooled a few blue belts with force. Shoot out Roger Gracie, BJJ Hammersmith. What what the fuck's a yellow belt, bro? You're at some dodgy fucking yeah, yellow, karate yellow club. Belts, uh, yellow belts for under 17. Yeah, man. Bahamandes is the real deal. Like, I love saying his name too. Ignacio Bahamandes. It's just so cool. Like, I mean, he lost to Ludovic Quine in unanimous decision in his last fight, but. Yeah, but that's it. All right. His stats are pretty crazy. Like he's got an eighty-five percent takedown defense, six point nine seven significant strikes landed per minute. Like there's not many people that are up there in the six percent of, well, six. Almost, I mean, almost seven significant strikes a minute, and there's not many people that are up there at those numbers. Like, yeah, but I mean, it's still fucking out. He's having a baby. BJJ mini... is bad for your joints. Oh, Shut I'm up. just bringing that up. Yeah, of course it is, mate. You know I mean? <laughs> Got to make sure you do your stretches before you yours, get in there. Yours work for your joints. He's a beast. Nah, a joint yeah. after BJJ helps yeah. with your joints. It does, mate, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to chill out. Nah, see, to what, be honest, right? So, see, sometimes when, you, when you leave, get knocked the fuck out, mate. When you leave training, you are like pumped you're hyped up everything's fucking flowing you can go home get a shower have something to eat and you're still ripping you know what i mean yeah. like you're sitting on the couch like, i'm not going to sleep anytime soon one of my coaches done uh like breath work and yoga he called it jitness so at the end you would just lie down and have a little shavashna and just chill out let the blood tingle down to your fingers and your toes close your eyes and just relax do some breath work mate you'd be sleeping within an hour of getting home like oh, yeah. the difference, yeah, the difference of just actually having that cool down moment and doing a little bit of yoga before you left after training was insane. Like, so, 
So it was a race to get to the shower to make sure that you were clean to get in bed with the missus before you passed out. Oh, mate, fucking hell. You drive home all sweaty, rash guards sticking to you, your geese halfway up your ass, your fucking belt still around your throat. You're like, oh. Not to mention the emotional damage of getting dominated. Yeah, and the the humbling that you went through before you got back into your own car to cry on the way home. Dude, the highest of highs and the lowest of lows were those drives home from gym. I'll I'll uh I'll never remember I'll never remember never forget my first first session man there was some guy that came as well and I think it was his first session as well and don't get me wrong pretty fucking stocky boy yeah I mean a pretty big dude like yes man man Naz knows yoga's fire bro like I don't care what anybody says it is awesome like but anyway yeah this big fucking stocky dude's in there thinking he was an absolute demon just trying to manhandle everybody and he was like for people all about it's like his strength was getting him into a better position at times yeah. yeah um and then he started rolling with a coach <laughs> oh it was fucking fantastic you just you just watched his his confidence go from here mm. to like to like me yeah you know i mean he went from 12 points to two points real fast like he just fucking <laughs> dropped and the coach right. just lay oh, on top of him is a bad and technique I, he just like he literally just breathed man and all he done was like made him fucking oh I swear to god he tapped from top pressure to the coach because he was just on him and he couldn't get him off him the and you can see every time. every time he exhaled, the coach would take in a deep breath He's and just a close, bit yeah, close that space, <laughs> close that space when he tried to breathe again that he couldn't. And I remember t- him saying to me as well on the side, he was like, you need to learn how to just belly breathe and just get used to that. I was like, bro, what the fuck is belly breathing? But see, once you, you understand it, what a difference yeah. it makes. Yeah, oh, big time. The, the first time I ever rolled with an instructor, I got submitted from pressure, just straight pressure. It happens, mate. It, it 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 changes you. It changes everything you think about what you thought you knew. Mm-hmm. For sure. Even in the fight earlier happened. tonight, fucking uh, what was it? Norma Dumont and um, <clears throat> Randomine. And I was sitting, and the missus was there drying her hair, and she's watching it. And she was like, "What's she doing?" I was like, well, "She's trying to get her hips over to the other side so she can get the head and arm choke." I was like, "Where she is right now, it's not going to land in, but if she can get over, get into mount, and get into the other side, then she's got it." And I was like, "We well, see." And it was literally just as he mentioned it on the commentary as well. It was like, "See how she's driving a shoulder into a jaw?" I was like, "That's not fucking nice." <laughs> I was like, "Some some people will tap from that fucking shoulder being driven into the side of your mouth." Right? You know what's wild, man? I see you on Twitter all the time. People talk about even that specific situation where they're like, what was she, what's the what's the issue there? Like, just get out. It's like you don't know <laughs> the message only through the right. She said that too. She was like, Could she not just stand up? I was like, No, <laughs> it's not that simple. Like, let's do, not a little, how it works. let's do a little physical demonstration here. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure and then you just all you need to do is just get up. Just see how it goes. To be fair to uh, the fucking Durandami, man, she actually managed to get herself to the cage and stand up from it too, though. Yeah, yeah you know, I was like, that, that was good. It worked well there. Like. Given, the, given the time she's had out and had a kid, she'd done all right tonight, to be fair. No, I think she washed. I mean, she did all right. All right. But not for not spectacular, but all right. Let's check my ACA, see how it's going along. I gotta be coming honest, along. I'm pretty stuck with the uh with the scoring schema that we've got for this year's competition because it is fucking tight, man. There's two points between first and last. Who's oh yeah, I'm the one go last police. See, I just f- fucking remembered about that. Time to app Billy Big Balls in the chat. Hey, I'm gonna go say goodnight to my kids. Nobody's bro. Uh, let me flip it over. Do you want competition or event stats? Uh, whatever you want. Make me look like a fucking pile of shit. He's gonna put up the event stats. Oh no, he went competition. Look at that. Back to my winning ways. You know what I mean? Seven points, six points, five and five. All I need now is this fucking dog of the week to come in and i'm going to be back at the top of this shit (laughs) 
Now, are you still in the chat, bro? What are you saying to next week? What's your favorite uh, favorite card sticking out to you? Card, favorite fight. One can Dan over it. Oh, Robbie, <clears throat> if you're still there, mate, what's your fight of the night next week? Oh, George, is anybody out there? The comeback, you know it, Naz. The comeback is on, brother. Well, that was always dog of the week as well in his last pick, mate. And uh, Peak never got it, did he? So I'm telling you. I mean, I've backed, I've backed Chris Curtis too. So uh, for me to get that one, George's going to get his uh, dog of the week as well. But I've got Big Shepe Mariscal as my dog of the week in the next fight. So three points from there. <clears throat> me and Ola are the only one that back Hernandez as well. Jordan Will have gone for Damon Jackson. I can't see Jackson getting it done, to be honest. Oh, was top last year, right? Yeah, mate. Oh, I smashed it last year. Oh, Curtis to win again. Yeah, mate. I reckon he can get it done. Brendan Allen looked rough on them scales, bro. Justin and Max for you. Yeah, mate. That Justin and Max fight looks absolutely fucking insane. I don't know if Max will be able to get it done if you can keep him at distance. You know what I mean? Work from range and go about it that way. Yeah, Jackson's finished. I agree, bro. How much is the prize pot? Well, they've swapped it up this year, so it's like 50 quid each just to chip in, you know what I mean? So there's 200 quid in the pot. And I think it was winner takes all last year, was it, Naz? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was. Um, but this year, we're going to do first place, second place, you know what I mean? So 75% and 25%. So someone's walking away with 50. Someone's walking away with 150. And I, I fucked it up in the last couple of weeks, George, mate. I was absolutely flying ahead. I had a 10-point lead on all of those motherfuckers. And then I ended up getting two correct picks on one week and fucking not so great on another one and allowed these motherfuckers to catch back up. 250 last year. Was there five of you in it or just the four of you? going on you fucking stick cunts and he's fucking back you ripper what did i miss your old mate beano how's the tune go again robbie something about a garbo just outside the dacto eating tacos with you summer oh hey, robbie's like your neighbor isn't he my neebs, mate, and Robbie's my cousin. He's my blood. Can't get rid of him. Oh, fuck. Not top no more. Yeah, no, I'm not top anymore. Shut up. I was going to say, hopefully Whereas, he's got better picks. <clears throat> oh, is dead last right now, mate. Remember that. Write it down. Clip it. Oh, is dead last. If it ain't a oh. pay-per-view, he ain't doing it. Yeah. Oh, has not had a great year so far, to be honest. He's been a bit up and down and all over the place. Yeah, where is he at? He's on he's last got, now. Yeah, he's last now, 88 points. Wow. I think the other Jordan will win this You think the other Jordan will win this season, mate? Don't be saying that. I'm not having any of that. I'm I'm, I'm with the Greens there. I actually, no offense, I actually think that Jordan's going to win. Well, how could he not win last year? That makes you think he's going to win this year? Where did he finish last year? That would be the question. Uh, he finished second last year. Was he, yeah? Uh, yeah. Naz, Naz, where did you finish last year, brother? Last. Dead last. <laughs> last. A, a comfortable last. He, yeah, he, like he a, found last position and then really settled in there. He went. Yeah, he just got yeah, comfy in stage. Yeah, I'm going to put a tent up here. 
Nah, Will's winning. You think Will's going to win? Will, mate, right? Will is probably the fucking dude in it. Will knows, is the dark horse of the competition. He is, mate. He is. He doesn't but watch this, this shit the, this every is the thing. This he doesn't is the do thing. any research. He can pick a fucking dog like a pro, though, oh, just yeah. from looking at the Bucky's like. Jordan, I'll put it to you, though. Does he not know anything, though? Really, if you think about it, because the number of times that you're like, oh, this is an easy win for so-and-so, and he agrees with the, most of the card, and then he goes, no, 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 this one's an easy one the other way. Then that other way comes through. Like, this cunt is tapped in I think, some way. I think, it's, I think it's luck. I think it's luck. It I don't know That's what I thought it was luck, too, but it can't be <laughs> luck. When you back it up week after week, week after week. <laughs> Naz, Naz, now who's the racist brother? Yeah, you know I mean, calling Will a dark horse is offensive. <laughs> it is, bro. You can't, you can't be okay, saying one. trying to get me cancelled. Let me, let me, let me satisfy the uh, the le- leftist headhunters. Right, I'm Australian. We're racist. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you thought I was going to validate it. I'm, uh, I am, I am not responsible for the thoughts and opinions voiced by any of my guests on this show. Speaking of which, this is my show. How did I end up on that side? You get back on that side, bitch. I guess you just know your position in the yeah. In that's the... It. second place. I'm going to stay in. I don't care. No, I was just thinking on the mats. You know, any anybody want to see the recline of um, Leroy's hairline? Oh, look at that. It's like Twin Peaks. Fucking mate, fucking hell, it's, mate! It's bad. Been kicked. It's got to kicked by a kangaroo. Dude, I, I never, I never thought it was an issue, and I thought hey, if I ever get bored, I'll just shave my head. No worries. And and I still don't care. It's in that respect, I'll still just shave my head. But I see people older than me with like a good hairline, and I'm like, fuck that fuck guy. Fuck you. I know, yeah. <laughs> do like the fact that Dana White doesn't care. UFC isn't woke just free. Yeah, man, that's one thing that I love about it too. Anybody can say what they want whenever they want and they just fucking, they just roll with it old school. You know what I mean? There's none of this bullshit in there. Like, it's the, it's, it is the one sport for that to be the case too. Cause like the whole sport are, is around like do whatever you <laughs> go want. Turkey. Just win. <laughs> do a Paul Craig and go to Turkey, mate. You'll get that hairline sorted right out. <clears throat> it's funny that it's even worse being in Scotland, man. See, like, fucking male pattern baldness in Scotland. And I mean, like, dudes that are, like, 18, 19, and the hairline's, like, back here. And so, they, they're trying to get a permanent shit with what they've got. And it's just, like, embrace right. it, mate. 99% you know I mean? of Australian it. genetics come from shithole Scotland. Yeah, mate. Well, okay, Most not... of the planet. Most <laughs> of the planet <laughs> yeah, comes from the yeah. UK at a certain yeah. point, right? <laughs> Maybe not 99 the... The other thirty percent Irish. How many fights we got left in this card? This is Mariscal stepping up. Fire! Uh, wait, three. We only got three, three fights three left. left. This is going to be left. finished early, man. Dana, don't give two facts. No, nah, he's going to get them. <laughs> he's going to get them advertising dollars in. <clears throat> Do you reckon this fucking? Oh, that was a nice inside leg kick. Sure, yeah. His leg kicks I'm, I'm going with Frenchy here because I really liked his last performance. He's a yeah, little bit last sporadic, but he's, he's, you know he's, what I mean, he was in France. I don't. He's I think Mariscal, talented though. Mariscal is more of a dog. He's going for the gilly yeah, straight away. He's naturally talented too, though. Yeah. Like yeah, he, but Mariscal's a dog. Bro. Come on, Mariscal. Come on, mate. Get out of that. You're not caught. You sound. Oh, he's a dog for sure, but. Got to go with a national athlete, man. I want to see the Charrier in the weight arounds. What are you punching him in the arm for? You're like, I'll give you a dead arm. You'll let go with this fucking gilly. So... Well done, man. Bro, I could just stood up there. Boom. Derek Lewis style. Yeah, Let's get working, bro. Let's get working. <clears throat> oh yeah, unpopular opinion. A base in judo is a very good base in MMA. So what are you saying about Kayla Harrison next week then? 
Yeah, she's getting. I don't even think she gets to the fight. Personally, you don't. No, I don't you think, don't think she's gonna make the weight. I don't think she's gonna make the weight. I don't get me wrong. It's not saying that she's not professional or anything, but this is a serious fucking weight cut. Yeah, and, I, and I get the height why all of the MMA media is like, is she going to make it? Because I'm genuinely concerned as well. And that's one of the reasons why I'm back in home if she does make it to the fight. Yeah, because home is, home is well and truly over the hill. But if Harrison makes the weight, then maybe she's got a shot. <laughs> 42 years old, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Forty-two years old and never actually really had a chin either. Like, come on, Chepe, bro, fucking weigh it on this dude. Chepe, Chepe, is a Chepe. I think I think you got this one, man. It, Sheppy uh, is a much higher level dude than what uh, Sharia came against in his debut anyway. Right. That was my reason for dog, it. Man. Yeah, I thought, I, yeah, no, no, no. Looked... <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm with, I understand what you say. I, I, I thought it would have already, already swung the other way by now. It was a very favorable matchup for Sharia in his debut, especially in France too. And obviously the crowd were going fucking mental. Oh, for sure. But, Coming up and against that, fucking that crowd was Chepe one of the Mariscal. crowds that I can recall he's, in a long time. Yeah. This dude's tough. He's gritty. He gets in your face. He'll make it dirty. You know what I mean? Like, in fact, in power. recent history, the only crowd that rivaled oh, that man. French crowd was uh, when Alex and Islam fought the first oh. time in Perth. He is swarming this dude, man. And he can do this for three rounds as well. You know what I mean? Oh, oh. Tables are turned. Oh, he's that was a big left and a right. Him, son. Get after it, boy. Woo! <laughs> it's not These even my guy, bed, but I'm fucking loving it. Nah, I see what's done. If they, if they were still away, I'd be going fucking mental, but they're not. They're both upstairs sleeping, so I need to be quiet. These new build houses in the UK. Oh, Wolfie's in the house. Sorry, I've not even looked at the chat in a oh, fucking shit. ages. Big Wolf up, Wolfie, bro. What's happening, my man? Big up, Naz. Wolfie's Leroy and Joe Dane. Yeah, man. Cheers for the Wait, jumping in, Wolfie. Wolfie Smash the, the likes. Link. Come watch. Wolfie's down to watch along. You want to jump in? He can jump in, mate. I'd invite Naz on, but he's not allowed to show his ugly face anywhere he's anymore. He's not allowed to. Court ordered. After Naz's last conviction, he's not allowed to be on YouTube anymore. Oh, yes. What's a round for Sheppe Maniscal, bro? That was fucking yeah, incredible. I, I, think that was, I think that was an easy one. Wolfie, if you want in... Uh, uh, his web mates. His web some mates. What? You Next never... time, brother. What's happening next weekend then? We're getting a big old fucking watch along on the fight week show. Is it happening or what? Oh, it's, it's going to be a hell of a fucking night. Do we got any guests or is it just us all fucking scrapping uh, between ourselves? That's always the problem, but I've been working steady on making some pretty fucking pictures to go along with it. You're going to get some sneak peeks here or what? No, they all look like shit. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Am I invited? Honest. Honest. I don't know, bro. If you bring some beers. Well, if you if you give us a good show on tonight, then maybe, but you will when I first eight. moved first moved to Scotland and I was walking out, so we're we gonna get some beers. Everyone's like, What are you saying? Bears? I'm like, no, I'm saying bears, and they're like, Do you mean beers? And I'm like, No, bears. And they're like, You're saying bears. I'm like, I'm not bears and bears, like this. There's two different pronunciations there. Yeah. You motherfuckers. <laughs> I I think Wolfie's getting confused here. Next time we'll jump on. Always. Mate. Always got the bears. 
Let's keep it going, bro. Let's keep Dude, it going. Yeah. Pepe Go Chepe. On, Frenchie. Go on, Frenchy. Fuck the Frenchy. He's got blue hair, the woke motherfucker. You know what I mean? I bet he's left as fuck. He's got a good name. Me- name's Michelle Sherry, yeah. <laughs> You know Bisbing's got a yeah, uh, nice down the pipe the Frenchie, so huh? so. Oh, because he likes wine, bro. That's probably what it is. No, well, he fucking hates. Yeah, well, no, he doesn't hate, but I mean, for the for the Ooh, fight, lovely I right mean, hand, he hates uh, GSP. GSP, yeah, no, I was gonna say, but that. he's French Canadian, <clears throat> so it's a little different. Did you did you see the story about that Arnold told me? about uh, GSP, they were in the gym and Arnold Allen was at the water fountain and he said uh, GSP came up to him and he was like, uh, he was like, Arnie, uh, what, what, what is a twa? And he was like, what? He was like, Michael Bisping at the press conference, he called me a twa. And he was like, oh, a twat. twat. He, was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, basically called you a vagina, mate. <laughs> but you, oh, but tell me that Arnold didn't then follow up with but to be fair, every insult in England, someone's calling you a some version yeah. of a vagina. There's even a song called Twat, and I can't remember who it's by. It's like an old uh, an old English guy. I think he was like a comedian and done like, an actor and stuff. I'm just gonna find it quickly. And you and you know that Australia has that same culture, but we just took it to the next level where we call everyone a cunt. John Cooper Clark. Go and listen to that, mate. It's fucking unreal. John <clears throat> Cooper Clark. It's like a spoken, like a spoken song. He's not really singing or anything. He's just like talking through it. Just a bit of rhythm. I mean, Jordan's next watch song. Yeah, mate, definitely. I'll hit you up for it, bro. Uh, if I'm invited, yeah, anytime, bro. You call him la pussy, <laughs> twat. You know what I mean? No hey, man alive. I I gotta ask though, Wolfie, if you're with your mate, what are you doing on YouTube? He's supporting the boys, mate. That's what he's doing on YouTube. He's supporting the fucking boys, and that's why we like. And yet, walking. the boys are calling you the fuck out. So I need this cool, round Mike. to end, so I can go and get another fucking brewski. Oh, that was a big body shot there. What minute are you on? Uh, 140 right now. Saying hello, you prick. I said we'll drop in and show love. See? See? Stop being a prick, Leroy. It's, it's like asking a... Uh, oh, what have we left? Bro, that head movement. Woo! You see that? Slick. What, what minute are you on? Uh, 112. Cool. Oh, he missed that footwork there. Boom. To be fair, Sherry is looking all right, heading in towards the fucking third round. The head movement, the hands, man. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Mariscal needs to get back towards the takedowns and grappling. <clears throat> what do you want? Oh, Doug? what? Hmm? Uh, what do you 42 want? seconds. 42, okay. About 10 seconds ahead. So I won't, I won't say names, but I'll just react genuinely. Yeah, it looks like he's about to take his back for the last 30 seconds of this anyway. It's almost like you can see the future. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shit! Nice. God damn! Oh! oh! Holy fuck! Oh! What a fucking kick to the chops that was! Hey, look Last at the five... Oh my days, man! Dude, that was tidy as fuck to end that round. He literally just fucking stomped on his chin to then catch his leg and go for a sweep. Mate. 
fuck this fight game, bro. Yeah, it's all good and well until until you send us until face. you get kicked in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember who it was I was talking to the other day. Oh, one of my mates was saying that you're like you ever like done sparring or anything. I was like, yeah, it's fun, man. Until you get punched in the fucking nose. I'm like taking taking something to the cheeks or the side of the head, not too bad. But when you get a straight dig straight on the fucking end was, of your conk, I was gonna oh, say, God, I was damn, gonna say, bro. it's it's actually still fun when you get punched in the face. It's not until you get that straight one or that, that straight one's or the that worst big one. hook and you're like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Now yeah, I you know. Motherfucker. That's why my nose is squint. <laughs> but even then, it's still fun. Mike Tyson said it best. Everyone's got a game plan until they get punched in the face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd knock that gun out. Come on, Shep, hey, bro. Come on, Shep, hey, bro. Let's get this fucking money in the bag, mate. I need these three points. <clears throat> bring up the uh, bring up the pick sheet. Shit, I don't even want to load it in. I'm going to load it in. Oh, yeah, second. fucking douchebag. Well, I wasn't expecting to do a fucking live stream. A fucking amateur hour over here, bro. I wasn't expecting a live stream either, but I got a honestly, thumbnail done in about two minutes. Honestly, it is a bit of an amateur show. Well, you're the host. Is that it? Yeah, mate, but that's super small. Yeah, there we go. So what we at? <clears throat> no, that's last week's, you fucking idiot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm fucking no, I want this week's picks. Shit, that is last week's. Hold on. Cheers, Wolfie, bro. Appreciate you, man. We're getting there in the old sub front, 625. Now, Working I'm, my way to that disappointed thousand. with Wolfie. Wolfie, how many boys are you sitting with? Tell them all to jump on YouTube and jump on... <laughs> Let's get these watch hours up, bro. I mean, not to make your head any bigger than it already is, Leroy, but yeah, you had some nice words said about your and mine and uh, always little podcast that we recorded. The I, other day. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. It started off as a bitching, and it turned into a, a complete. Honestly, if if there's anyone wants to be held accountable, it's probably you. Ah, oh, I just hit cancel. You fucking know. Is this it? Make me a mod. No, that's Make last me a mod. week still. <clears throat> no, that's this week. There you go. Nope, last week. Fuck. No, that's last week. What the fuck are you doing? Couple sub are leaving soon. I'm, I'm only like Mrs. Calls. Years, that's dude. it, mate. Mrs. makes the rules. We we are your fifteen beers deep for breakfast, son. Don't give me your shit. Smack him in the side of the head. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. So, oh, John's got Charrier, and there's only me and Ola that have got Mariscal. Uh, Hernandez. Right, so if I forget this. Oh shit! So, so your your uh, underdog of the week should be the only one that's up for argument at the moment because everyone else yep. is soft. That's what I said. I said Mariscal. Oh, what a knee! I said Mariscal is the only one that's going to come in, and I don't even mind dropping that Chris Curtis point as long as Jar doesn't get his dog of the week. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, he's not Shut there. up! No, he's not Got there. One minute for oh the fucking going for the dash. If he drives his skin in, no, nah, he's not there. He's out. Speed he's the out. other hand he's three. Out. You got to switch hands. Speed the three. You fucking idiot. Why are you taking a break? Speed the other arm three, you nonce. You nonce. <laughs> that was the most nonce way of saying nonce I've ever heard in my life. It, what? He just ended up on bottom because he's a fucking idiot. Mate. 
Mariscal just Listen. fucking Derek Lewis, big boy, no. shut up in most of these. He's, he ain't shit. It's just that I'm trying to back a fucking Frankie. Mariscal's that dog, bro. I fucking called it like. Oh, look at that. If I get fucked by the judges in this one, I'll be fuming. No, I, I don't think that's happening. Oh, he's, he's fading it here. Yeah. Even if the judges wanted to warp it, they couldn't. Smash, smash, smash. Welcome he's to the fucking UFC. Sherry yeah. Air. Hey, that's yeah, a great pick, beating, Jordan. Because beating, beating that ass, bro. He was feeding it to the finish line. That was. Beautiful. Is that me? Is that me? Top place. Is that I me think back that to takes top place? you up. That's me back to top place, isn't it? Yes, yeah, son. Is that right, take, take that, that takes you up? Take, to... take that off the boards because Hernandez is coming in, and if Chris, what's Jordan? Go and show me what Jordan's on. Because if who did he? Have? He had Charrier in that as well. Just we never even got a fucking point in that one. Whew, I'm not competitive. All the way up. I'm not competitive, but yeah, <laughs> I'll be straight. I'll be straight in that chat, swinging my big old English dick right now. All right, mate, calm down. <laughs> Shut up! You've been part of this too, giving me it tight <laughs> for the last fucking two weeks, tagging me on fucking Instagram and Twitter just to slag my two points that I got. Hey, if you were doing well, I'd be tagging you either way. It's not my fault you shit at this. But apparently not. I am not shit at this. I know exactly what I'm talking about and when I'm talking about it. Every one of my picks, I've said this before, are fucking reasonable, the solid, the logic's behind them. It's MMA. It's 50-50. It can go either way on the night. Leroy just sounds like a drunk shouting today. Leroy's always a drunk shouting, bro. Bro, tight, swinging dick, and I'm on the wrong stream. <laughs> yeah, this is YouTube, not only fans. Put your dick away, bro. So, when I do catch that flight to uh, England, I'm going to have to visit both you and Wolfie. Is that what we're saying? Well, when you come into England, like, you're visiting Ola. <clears throat> No, me and Ola are good. I ain't visiting him. No, that sounds. Come to Scotland, bro. I'll host you. No, you can take that. You can take that away now, mate. Let's see your big ugly mosh again. Oh yeah. What do you mean robbery, Naz? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even came up on my screen yet. You better fuck <laughs> off if I've just been robbed, mate. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> Dude. Hey. Have they got a split decision? Naz, Naz, you're the best. Oh, thank fuck. Naz, you just scared the life out of me, you absolute fucking douchebag. You absolute douchebag. My G. Yes, oh, yes, Naz. You can get out of the stream, you bro. That was pants early fights, finally. Hope all is well. All is well. Come on, you cants. Look at that, mate. I need to get a picture of that right now. Yeah, yeah. Gives a, gives a good face looking down at those points. <laughs> yes, mate. Where's George? Second place. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but that is the way it is. Naz giving me a thumbs down. Go fuck yourself, bro. <laughs> Remember that drink? Is it still about? Yeah, I'm going to go and get another fucking drink. Uno momento. Por favor.
The only thing is, though, <clears throat> are you in the chat That's giving me shit days. now? Are you? are you checking out that picture? <laughs> That's a belter. That's good. Um, if Jackson does come in, so I'm on what? I'm on 92. He's on 90. So if Jackson comes in, he goes to 91. If Chris Curtis comes in, I go to 93. He would go to 94. So he could be top if the Chris Curtis fight comes in. I bet you like that, you little fucker. But that's only if Jackson wins too. So if Hernandez wins, I'll go to 93 and he will be 93 with the Chris Curtis win. So we'll be drawn. We're either going to be drawn top, I'll be top, or Joel will be top. That's the way that's going to go. But how is Hernandez such a uh, a good odd tonight? I thought Damon Damon Jackson's finished, bro. You think he's finished? Yeah, mate. I don't know, man. Like, top of the table, aye. Aye, mate. I'm top of the table, aye. <sighs> Sitting aye. kushty. You're Sitting pointing. kushty for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> You're definitely pointing pretty. Mate, told you that was the best dog of the week. Oh, he fucking knew it. Like, it's, 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 I mean, you're the only one to hit the TP. <sighs> Are the uh, underdog of the week. Let me look here. What are we at at the moment? As it That's stands. Like, like I said last week, mate, that is really the thing making the difference in week to week as it's been going. Like, even last week when I got five points, Ola would have only been six. Will would have only been six or seven. Jord would have only been five or something Hold about on, the dog of the week coming back in. And my, my kids are little shit right now. <sighs> no worries. Let's boost that back up. <clears throat> Do we have a little look? That's why I was sitting on what night. Oh, he's brought up the wrong bloody one. That was from last week. What an absolute idiot. Yeah, I mean, we'll just remove him for now. We'll just keep it down to myself until he gets back. Just quacked his Bisping and Gooden English power. Yeah, mate, it's been Bisping and Gooden all night. Where have you been? Paul Felder being the odd one out. I like John Gooden, man. He's he's cool. Like. But obviously next week we'll be back to Joe Rogan, John Anik, and probably Daniel Cormier. So who's taking who in this main event tonight then? I'm backing Chris Curtis. Let's have a quick look. How old is Dave and, uh, Damon Jackson at this point, man? 35. 35-year-old curse. Lost against Belly Q and Dan Ige. Boom. Hello, YouTube band. <laughs> Reckon they could make that into a theme park, a YouTube one theme park. Robbie's going Curtis as well. What are you saying, Wolfie? Who are you going, bro? Loads of copyright rides. Yeah, the park would end up getting shut down for copyright, wouldn't it? Oh, I need to open this door, mate. I'm fucking roasting. Don't say that often in Scotland, folks, that you're roasting. You Curtis as well, Wolf. Naz, you going Brendan Allen? But yeah, you're like a man in a funky hat, don't you?
Anybody else got like <clears throat> any of the UFC cards? I've got a fair few and a lot of buck quite. This one's kicking about. Some cool ones in them, but they've just changed again recently to a new company taking over them. Are they going back to tops or something? I'm not too sure. But they're ace, man. Some of them look cool as out like. And he's back after kicking him off the stream for a little while. Oh, wait. There we go. Sorry, I changed the camera angle. You see, you're seeing that score line, mate. <clears throat> and I was quite happy with the score line, to be honest with you. For once, in the first time in three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, it's been a minute. Guess I'm just so used to sucking ass, I forgot. Yeah, mate. You got some brown stuff on your old nose there. Yeah, it's not brown, it's white. Have you not, you not noticed how awfully fucking quiet it is in that chat right now? Oh, it's very quiet. What do we got here? It's awfully quiet in here right now. <laughs> that's, that's what somebody else said to me. So I used to be in a group chat for someone else. <clears throat> and he was like, mate, there is literally no filter between what you think and what you say. He was like, anything that comes out of your mouth is exactly what appears in the group chat as well. I was like, I know, mate, like nothing changes. I don't fucking soften any blow. Like anything that I think of just gets said straight away. Like. So off a quiet up in here. That's what I was just about to do a tumbleweed. <laughs> Yes, mate. Again, I fucking hate how alike we are. <laughs> it's brutal, eh? It's fucking brutal. That's what I was saying to Ola as well and that thing. Obviously, you'll probably go and listen to it, but I was just like, mate, I hate how, how similar me and we are. He's that much of a cunt. That I love him too much. You've got the old card up again, you fucking steamer. That's why I removed you from the screen as well, because you left the old card up. Did I really? Yeah. How much your motherfucker? Here's this one. I haven't loaded in. You know, I wasn't expecting to do a live stream tonight. Oh, look at that. Ten points tonight, folks. Ten points. Come on. That's fucking <clears throat> Back to my old ways, mate. Let's see that chart now. Go and make your fucking chart now. Jackson Look at the size there. difference here, bro. Damon Jack's all huge. I do have Jackson winning there. Nah. 35 year old curse. Two losses back to back already. Yeah, but he's three weight class. Shit. Up, man. A shit back tattoo. Yeah, it is a bit shy. <laughs> I just, I just think that Hernandez is forever locked in this uh, young guy's mentality. He's got that baby face. I don't blame him. Can't hear you all the way back there, mate. I'm just hoping that he, that he. Uh, that he's learned from previous mistakes. Okay, that was pretty clean. Trying the old fucking point and fate. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Boy, I was literally about to say when Drek and Jackson's going to shoot, and then he went for it. That tattoo sucks, by the way. 
<laughs> fuck it, a, a landing strip down to his asshole. Yeah, you know I mean, like, might as well get an arrow just pointing. At least he didn't. Uh, at least he knew that he was a bitch and wasn't like, oh, "I'm gonna get it down the middle on my spine." Yeah, I don't even think it's even fucking <laughs> actually down the. Like, you can see the curvature of his spine there. It's not even in the middle of that shit. That's been like he avoided down. He got outside of the spine to avoid the pain. And I, respect oh, I think <clears throat> either side of the spine would be pretty fucking soft, I suppose. I'm trying to feel now about what it would be like. No, nah, it wouldn't be that bad. Saying that, I've only, I've only got one fucking tattoo. I've always wanted more, but I've never bothered my ass. Well, you got a tattoo? Yeah, mate. Was it, is like, it skin it, tone? Because is it a cock on your forehead? Hey, no, nah, that'd be pretty big. You'd see that one. <laughs> what do you got? A dragon, mate, as always, what everybody goes for. Where? On my arm. I haven't seen it. Show us. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Oh, <laughs> shit, buddy. Boy, there, we there we go. Guns there you go. Nice. Look at them guns, son. That's not bad. <clears throat> but yeah, that was uh, the dragon on my gi from the jiu-jitsu i done when i was younger yeah I like <clears throat> and then i went on holiday and there was some cunt sitting across from me on the table with it on his leg i went up to him and bowed and he just walked to me like a weirdo i was like do you know at the gym no you know, <laughs> i was like this, this is a sacred you tattoo know, brother you can't you can't be getting this fucking tattoo if you never trained jiu-jitsu in your life you know what <clears throat> Turns out it's probably the most popular fucking tribal dragon to go and get when you turn 18 that you can ever fucking get. Your mic's fucking up, bro. I can bail with him. Can't hear you. Oh, man. Fuck you, man. That's what you get with your dodgy French. Canadian cables. I can hear something, but don't you? If nobody can hear you, but I can't hear you. Anybody in the chat hear him? Any left? Boom. Jack's on looking good. Shut up. Still can't hear you, mate. You better unplug that mic and pull it back in. I've not muted you. You went to Turkey. Oh, I can hear you there now, but it sounds like you're miles away. Naz, can you hear him clearly or what? We royal likes little boys, okay, so but you you're you're me. very faint, like you're off in the distance. <clears throat> Naz, can you hear Lee Roy at all, or is it really quiet for you as well, bro? Look at that, eighty percent correct picks, ten points.
Hernandez is struggling a little bit with the size and the fucking range of uh, Jackson here. He's to try and get inside a little bit, make it dirty. So those green shots, man, I shouldn't have worn the green shots. Let's see how my betting line is doing. Jackson's doing really well with them sticker moves, man. Just one dig, circle out. One dig, circle out. Them kicks are lethal as well, right? Oh, he's got him running. Bang, bang. Is that better? Nah, mate. What the fuck is going on? Try speaking again. I'm not going to scooby do what's happening here with your mic, like. Right? Mic check one two one two. One two one two one. Maybe it's just me. <clears throat> I need Nads to fucking answer me and tell me if he can hear you or not when you're check. talking. Can you hear me talking right now? I can hear you talking right now, but again, it's really faint. Am I faint or am I clear, people, in the chat? Some bits are cutting in and cutting out. Have you got your mic the wrong way around? Have you got your mic the way wrong? No one in your chat cares enough. Tell these cunts to get about it or get the fuck out of here. Get about it. You're super scratchy and faint. Yeah, so it's not just me. Can't hear Leroy. Fuck, eh? You must have a loose cable or something on there, bro. Alright, I'm going to back out. I'm going to do some uh, resetting and some finger bashing. And I'll get back see, when, see, when you get really close to the mic, I can hear you, but it's like you're fucking miles away. Oh, Jackson's on his back. Jackson Baxson. So it's looking like Jackson's going to win this fight. <clears throat> For me to stay at top. Even though I've picked him, I need Chris Curtis to lose this fight. Even though I've made him as my pick. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Jackson is up. Yeah, Jackson's definitely up, mate. Two rounds to one, uh, two rounds to fucking none. You know what I mean? You pick Jackson now, mate. I picked Hernandez. Um, who picked Jackson? Will and Jod picked Jackson. And then me and Jod picked Chris Curtis and Will and Ola went for Brendan Allen. But Jordan also picked Chris Curtis as his dog of the week. So if he comes in, he's going to get four points. So he'll rock it ahead of me by one point. 
So I need Brendan Allen to rear naked choke this motherfucker. How you pick Hernandez? Because I picked Hernandez, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, it says what it is. You make your pick. Mic check one, two, one, two. That's a little bit better. Still really quiet, though. No, I'm going to turn my volume up just so I can hear you more. He just fucking rocked. Oh, shit. Oh, this is why I picked Hernandez, Naz. What are you saying, brother? How you pick Hernandez, bro? He's smashing him now. He, know, he knows he's he's two rounds down. He's got to do all or nothing. Oh, head and arm. Head and arm. Step off, brother. Step off. He's got that leg wrapped up and he's struggling. Keep it there. Keep it there. You want to swing them legs up in the air, bro, and just fucking flip to that side. You know what you need to do. He's in mount now. Oh, he's let go of it. Posture up, posture up, fucking, you know I mean, frame off his face, make it uncomfortable, make him give you his back, nice. Make this dirty, Man, make this dirty. Like Emma's, huh? And then there's a bullet like what? Like Emma's. Yeah, a little bit. Come on, Hernandez, bro. You need to fucking get in his face. To be honest with you, I thought Hernandez's output was going to be a lot more than what it was in the first round, first and second round, but I think he I think he really struggled with that range and closing the distance. And now fucking Jackson's back on his back. Fuck me, come on. Oh, he's got him. <clears throat> Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shimmy, shimmy, coconut. That's a very vulnerable position. I know, mate. Nice, mate. Nice. Punish him. Punish him. Come on, bro. Get out of the way, Herzog. Punish him. Who was that little ref last week? Can't remember the dude's name. Who? The little ref. <clears throat> he, um, whose fight was he on? I need to go and have what? Can't remember. He kind of called the fight a bit, but some people think it's a bit soon. Let's go and have what? He was actually my favorite ref all night up until that point as well, to be fair. I think it was the Vicente, yeah, Vicente Luque versus Joaquin Bocque fight, whoever the ref was in that. And he was standing so close that he was practically in the fight himself. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, can't recall, but I know who you're talking about. I was wondering how Jackson's hair was back. <clears throat> Jackson's done well in this one, like. They ain't doing fuck all here. Break it up. Come on. How long have you got left for you, Roy? Uh, 30. Trying to go for them shoulder strikes. But. Break apart and just start swinging. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. 
Should be mandatory the last fucking 10, 15 seconds that it just go ham like. Boom, good, boom, good boom. Ah, that puts Jord one point closer. I need fucking Chris Curtis to lose this fight now. Yeah, I think you're right there. I actually don't care. I'll chop my pick straight under the bus. This is a uh, UC Apex card, they so say. Cannot, can't judge it out. Oh, that's somebody that picked Jackson on Twitter calling me out already. Yeah, <laughs> fucking fights. Oh, we just done. Uh, fuck you now. Thing is, you won't get the rise ask out him, of me. Ask like... him for his picks for the rest of the card. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Yeah, there's only one more fight left after this, bro. But now, nah, like, you won't get a rise. See, when you see a fight like that, and it was rightfully so to somebody else. Oft, significant strikes is telling a different story, though. Forty-four for Hernandez and thirty for Damon Jackson. Hmm. But when you look at the fight, you know what I mean? Jackson did have more control. Hernandez. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. So as we thought, but nonetheless, the fact that a judge had a 30 20. There we go, Damon Jackson. I thought we were going to get the split decision there, boys. Unlucky. Fucking madness. <clears throat> I didn't think it was going to be a split decision, but obviously those strikes are what made the difference. Like, Oh, shit. McDane, do you want to know what the scorecard is now? I know what the scorecard is, mate. It's 92, 91, 89, uh, and 90. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know I'm right. I'm always fucking right. That's why I'm saying I need Chris Curtis to lose this motherfucking fight. Otherwise, I'm oh. going to be second place. I also forgot that I had it on the screen. I bet you. I bet you we don't like. Honestly, since I've gone to the top spot, we've not heard a fucking peep. And as soon as Chris Curtis wins this fight and Joe goes one point ahead, I bet he brings his shitty little ass into that chat and starts giving it big legs. Can you blame him? <laughs> nah, because I would do the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll be back in a second, boy. Cool, man. Yeah, let me flip this over. Come on, Brandon Allen. Keep me at the top. Here we go. Main event of the fucking evening. <clears throat> I 
I'm ha- I'm pretty happy with that betting accuracy though. Oh, picks accuracy, seventy two point seven percent. That's not bad for an MMA picks, like not at all. I don't think Brandon Allen's got a chance of getting a rare naked choke. The mic is unbearable. Wild clicks. Wild clicks from who? Me or Leroy? Is my mic still fucking up? I can hear you now, like, but I don't know. <clears throat> George said there's wild clicks. I don't know whether that's from me or from you. I I, well, say, I've got my phone underneath my mic. That might be interfering. I'll move that shit. Click, 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 click. Yeah, now the chat's going real quiet since you've hit the lead again. Yeah, that's how it goes, mate. Typically, the WhatsApp group is firing on all cylinders, shitting on Jordan. No, I, I wouldn't even say literally because it's only been two weeks. But literally, I was just getting zinger after zinger earlier on, and for the last let's get rid of that hour for the last hour and three minutes, there has not been a peep out of one of these motherfuckers. Bitches. Predictions. I don't even have it in. I must have already removed it. What are you saying to this John Jones controversy? Bro, I was like, if you're going to be hassling John Jones, like, at least come prepared. I know, yeah. If he's drunk ass is standing there and you're wanting a drug test he's him, he's going to kick off. Like... Birthday. Like, imagine how much coach at that party. Well, is that, is that where he was? Yeah, it wasn't just at his own house. Well, he also said that it ended amicably. With him giving and appara- apparently, apparently it was it was a woman as well. Yeah, well, don't be a woman. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I think the uh, MMA journalists of the world are just running with the story and pumping it oh, out, like probably any, any, probably building it up more than what it was. Yeah. I, I don't think there was anything to it, but but any story to paint Jones in a bad light is going to be clickbait. Speaking of, here we go. Chris Curtis on his walkout. Dude, I genuinely, I, even regardless of their last fight, I think Chris Curtis. <laughs> Naz says he can hear it. It sounds like dolphin clicking. I can't hear any clicks from Leroy. Like, it might be. I did spill beer, beer all over my microphone. So. Did you? That's probably what it was then. Oh, Naz, is it ruining the stream? Should I mute myself? That's the question. Yes, you should definitely mute yourself at yeah, all times. No one, no one yeah, can't. To, no one wants to listen to you, you brown eye bacon <clears throat> Of course you do. I can ramble on for days, me mate. It's in the name. They're here for me, son. They're here what for the salt and pepper chops. Still quick and crackling. Fucking hell. Sorry out. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting no views because of you, Leroy. Mic check. One, two. I said I checked the mic. I said I checked the mic. I checked right, the mic. Hey, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute myself. Here. Yeah, you've gone full robot on me now. I, I can't even hear you. Last fight of the night, and this is where we're at. It's 
motherfucker thinks he's Nate Diaz all of a sudden. Hello, hello, hello. What's happening, brother? Hope you're good. You've been watching the fights all night? Leroy's having some mic problems at the moment. It keeps crackling and fucking fading in and out. And needs to stop buying his equipment off Wish, to be honest with you. Can you hear me now? Oh, it went even worse. What are you doing? It's worse. <clears throat> Terrible background. Someone eating popping candy. Yeah, that's you, that. Yeah, that's definitely me. All right. You're going to be solo. And you can you can blame the terrible background on Leroy as well because he designed this. I think you need to unplug that mic completely, mate, and see what the crack is. I already, I already done that. I think what did you just do? Super beer earlier. Well, that was better. What did you do there when you wiggled it? Go and talk again. How's that? No, that made it worse. Sounded like scratching old blackboard. Bye, fellas. Cheers for dropping in, mate. See, look, you're, you're losing me watch hours there, son. You owe me. Can't even hear you now. What are you eating? Yeah, sounds better now because you can't fucking hear him. You're still muted, you fucking dingo. Can you, Can you hear me now, man? Me now. Can you hear me now, man? I hear you, man. How's it sound? Still shit. All right. You gotta call one of your boyfriends in. Step up and uh, take my shoes. I think you need to fucking just swap your mic out. Wow, it's so bad. You eating a pot noodle? That motherfucker's eating a pot noodle whilst he's on the stream. Hold on. My audio is going to get worse, but we'll try it. Have you not got another mic? All right, not mic use... check one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go, mate. That's loads better. Just use the camera mic, fuck's sake. That's better? Yeah, that's miles better. All right, that's good to hear. John, get on your YouTube and go back a few seconds. That sound is torture. <laughs> I'm going to watch it back and be so disappointed. That's just fucking Leroy's accent, that, mate. Here we go. Mate, is Brendan Allen only 28 years old? No. Is he really? Yeah, man. we still got another 10 years of this insufferable bastard. And his beaver hats. Show me beaver he's been getting. What are you eating? Well, look, he's still got time to bounce back from this ass kick and he's about to get... You better not get an ass kicking, because I want I want to stay at the top of this table just so I can fucking bask in the ambience tomorrow of a silent Sunday, another silent Sunday after having the noisiest Sundays for the last two weeks. I'm pretty sure Chris is going to do it again. It's short notice, but I am pretty sure that Chris' team stays ready, man. The man spars with Sean Strickland. He's yeah. always ready. Yeah, exactly. And he's black, so he's got like plus five uh, attack by default. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah.
He must have been shooting some juice. His veins are popping now. Like. Yeah, Brandon Allen doesn't look fucking too confident there. Eh? It looks like he's still rehydrating. Yeah, he looked fucking dreadful on the scales, by the way. Mm-hmm. For the record, I hope Brandon Allen wins, but I think Chris is going to do it. Main event time, folks, and they're off. Can't even bet on this motherfucking fight anymore now that it started. It's locked. Oh. Brandon was much taller as well, wasn't he? Never noticed that. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to be that much taller. I knew he was taller, but not. he looks substantially taller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go out on Apex's match. Yeah, even the missus when I was saying about that before when she was asking about shit, she was like, why is it so quiet? Why is there no fans? Had to explain the whole Apex situation to her. He's wrapped up that back and tight. Oh. Trying to get that rear naked choke. Joey's landed that five times in those last six fights. He's a one-trick pony. It's still dry, but Curtis being subbed is rare. Yeah, 100%. That's why I back Curtis as well. I was like, right. Takedown defense is usually pretty decent. Getting subbed is rare. I don't see a sub coming early. Need to get past that fucking beard first. Bet that's sore as fuck if you get rear naked choke with a fucking beard like you're know, pulling all the little ones underneath your chin. Oh, reversed it. Watch out for them up kicks. Come on, stand up, motherfucker. Smack him, Curtis. All right, the, the boxing is sharp. Alan's Alan's striking has improved since the but last def- time they fought as well. Substantially, yeah, substantially. Like it worked great against Paul Craig. Sounds difficult. <laughs> Making me hungry just listen to you. Chewing away there, you bastard. I feel like I can almost smell it through the screen. Tastes so good, too. What time is it by you? It is 20 past eight. Mate. That's when these fights started for me. Were you 20 past midnight? 20 past one. We've had daylight savings now, son. We're only five hours again. Mm, that's what it was.
Oh, oh. What minute are you on? Oh, seconds. Uh, 36. <clears throat> 40 seconds left. <clears throat> 40. Yeah, I'm on the About same as Nazia. Yeah. Who you got in the first? Tough one. I think Alan might have edged it, especially with the control time in there as well. It's been a little bit more active with the wag kicks too. I think Chris with the pressure. You reckon? See what the Bockies are thinking. Yeah, I don't have the live odds up for once. Total strikes. 23 for Allen, 14 for Curtis. 21 really? significant. Yeah, 21 significant, 12 for Curtis. Oh, I think that's an easy first round then. Curtis has now dropped to a plus 200. It's not even worth sticking anything on them. Makes it all the better when he wins, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nope. Uh, you're I'm chucking him. <clears throat> I'm chucking him under the bus. I'm chucking him under the bus. I've told you this. Fuck, that does look good, though, eh? Mm-hmm. That's so who? Uh, it's even in perfect all. sequence. 89, 90, 91, 92. Uh, yeah, that that feels good for your fucking OCD ass, but. <laughs> Brendan Allen, Brendan Allen. So it's only me and Jod that have gone for Chris Curtis. So even if Ola, Ola gets it, Will gets it. We're on eighty. No, we're on ninety and ninety-one. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll. Uh, I just he'll don't want to give Jod the gloating power. That's that's yeah. the only thing. So just, he I really don't want right. Chris Curtis to win at this point. I always thought that it was odd that Curtis was the other dog. Mate, what are you eating? That looks fucking delicious. So and I bet you didn't wife, cook any of it. My wife's from Africa, buddy. Yeah. I've got African family, bro. It's nothing but soul food right here. I hate you. I do like the way that Alan tries to get control during those uh, iffy spots where he puts yeah. his hands out and actually starts grabbing. There's a few people that are really good at that. You know what I mean? Just kind of hold the hands and kind of fuck with them. Like Sean O'Malley's got it doing it as well. Sean O'Malley's great at it. That's a good example. That was a nice right hand for Brandon Allen there. The pressure from Curtis here is unfucking real. He's just walking him down. Oh, lovely right hand. Oh, shit. Alan just landed three clean on Chris. Bang. Big knee.
I love that man. See when they just fucking dip inside to side, a little fucking bit of head movement, and he just a jab gets missed because of it. It just looks so slick, like. Whoa. Allen's definitely landed in the hottest shots, man. I tell you this, I don't like I don't like uh Allen's odds in the third round if it keeps going this way. I know. Thing is I don't think Allen's got the fucking power to put him out of there. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, he, the, he, might, he might be landing the bigger shots, but he hasn't got the power to put him out the further it goes. It looks like he still needs to get Chris's respect as well because of the, yeah. I mean, one, the last fight, but two, like, he's not really, he's had some good shots, but nothing that's made you think, oh, Chris felt that one. Yeah. Chris has just been taking them all. Oh. You see bigger reactions from Alan at this point. All right, see, there yeah, you go the again. The body shots have been heavy as well, man. Significant strikes are far more substantial for Chris Curtis in this round. Yeah, this is five rounds. Like, I, I don't think there's any question that Chris can go five rounds, even on short notice. There is a question if Brendan Allen can, though. Yeah, with preparation as well. That's the... Yeah. And he was going to fight Marvin Vittori, like... Mm. I know, mate. I thought I thought Vittori was going to just fucking dog him, Mike, because there was no way he was knocking him out. I, I honestly <clears> thought <throat> it was going to be me. I thought it was going to be uh, Vittori's first finish in the UFC. Could have been, to be fair. Because his old decisions for Vittori so far. Bro, Vittori's hands are fucking massive. What are you saying, uh, Naz? Round one was Alan easy. Naz felt the same. You bore and always bust. Yeah, mate. Alan looked tired or something. He's been so much. Oh, no way. Uh oh. Oh, who's beeping and clicking now, boys? Who's beeping and clicking now? <laughs> I bet he, his daughter just woke up too. Now he's proper fucked. I just setting off your fire alarm, folks. Just set off my fire alarm and my fucking vape. <laughs> did uh, did Vader wake up? No, but the message did. She's still oh, that's sleeping. all right. <laughs> that's what I saying where you were going. I said, who's beeping and clicking now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a clippable moment. Fire! <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's funny just as I'm running through the chat as well I'm surprised Vader didn't wake up though because the fucking fire alarm there's one in here there's one in the hall there's one in the kitchen there's one upstairs and if one of them goes me. off yeah it sets them all off mate I don't know how she's not woke up there dude that's kids for you man mate she's normally a really light sleeper like wakes up a few times a night but yeah, a light sleeper when you're trying to do something subtle, but if something loud yeah. happens, they're like, don't care. False alarm. Yeah, false yeah. alarm, Naz. There's no oh, fire in the building. Just they're all good. through the bedroom wall? No issue. Oh, you went to <clears> lay <throat> down? I'm waking up. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes, right?
See, last time I was vaping in the living room all night and never went off at all. It wasn't until I opened the door into the fucking hallway that it went off. Well, here in my supreme lair, I, I specifically positioned the fire alarm to be outside of scope. No issue. Yeah, mine's way out over fucking yonder, you know what I mean? But Can you see any fire alarms up there? Nah, I don't think so. Nah. Oh, that went deep. Bad eye poke. Yeah. We're in the third round, though, so. Nah, he, he wants to keep going, because Alan's for sure gassing. Curtis is a man's man. Yeah, fucking straight back to it. John Gooden just said the same thing. Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> oh, oh, that uppercut. <clears throat> oh, wobbled him a bit there. Chase him down, Chris. Chase him down, Chris. Oh, what a finish this is going to be. Oh! Yeah, Brandon Allen could just chill here for a bit, get his breath back, make him carry him. Stay active enough that the ref won't fucking. I'm stoked this is five rounds. I mean, as much good, as this wears out, Chris can uh, anyway. Yeah, it's solid, like, but <clears throat> it's not easy holding that either. Like, so as no. much as it's wearing down on Chris Curtis, it's ripping the legs out of fucking yeah. Brandon Allen, too. If, if, if Allen's not doing anything with it, it's more detrimental to him. Yeah. Tooth went flying out. I never seen so, that. Do you see a tooth? I didn't see it. Fuck, that's a tough round to pick there. Who? Hey, what do you got on the cards? Uh, two one, Alan. You got two one, Alan. Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, that was a tooth, Naz. You caught that. Whose when... tooth? Brendan Allen's tooth? Or... Yeah, Allen's tooth went pinging on. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, God damn. Oh, 
Needs to brush his teeth, strengthen them gums. Oh, early start. Oh. Is it? Uh, what are you saying? Another eye poke? Well, yeah, maybe maybe scratched it a bit. Tell you what, though, these boys are fucking swinging. Fucking swinging. Oh, you remember when Alan got knocked out by Chris Curtis? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to see it again. I just find it odd that he's the favorite, even if even if Chris is coming in on short notice. I think yeah, I think it's because of the short notice and how the record's been running since. Ooh. That was nice. That, that was, was a nice, nice entry. That was a nice entry. Right? you got to give him that. Close round at the, the end. Crossed, though, the key. The, he's got the feet crossed, though. Come on. <clears throat> Come on, Chris. He's got the feet crossed. There's something there. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, he swished it. You beauty. Nice. Yeah, Chris Carter has got no interest in being down on the floor of him at, at all. all. Even if he had the advantage there. Oh, he's digging deep on them body shots. Well, he had, he had the option to be in top control and he decided to stand just straight up. Bam, bam. Oh. oh, nice takedown again. Going for the back. He's weighing on him. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? I think Chris might be more gassed than he looks. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Alarm bells are ringing. Now he's in mount. 20 seconds left. And Chris might need to come out and get a finish in this last round if he wants a chance of taking it. I think this is Alan's game. It's going to be the last round for Chris to bring it to him. But he doesn't look, he doesn't look gassed. So is uh, Tim Welsh trying to secure uh, Coach of the Year with a rally here? Yeah, it seems like it. Don't let him bully you, son. Don't let him bore you, son. <laughs> you got to pull it out of the fire. Chris Curtis walks all down the opening 20 seconds and just cracks him. Bam. Ooh. Oh. I mean, hats off to fucking... Go on. I was going to say hats off to Brandon Allen for actually standing and trading for the majority of the fight, like... Yeah. The the lads on the panel are saying that it comes down to this round. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What the fuck is happening? What is going on? So suck at pulling out and getting to the back there, eh? Yeah, eh? Oh, what's that fucking knee bar? Ankle what? What the fuck is going on? Dude, I'm so tense right now watching this. Get him. Oh. It's not a good look for Alan to be doing what he's doing. And he's nah, getting caught all. for his business. <clears throat> Trying to scramble on all fours for an ankle. It's not a good look for the judges. Yeah, he's getting clipped now. Chris could finish him in this round. We've got, what, just over two minutes left. Oh. It's not a good look for being for Brendan being head first into the mat doing nothing. I know, yeah. Just taking digs. Kick him in the face. Oh that is not a good sign. He's 
Shit, I, I think Alan's gonna ruin himself here by doing this bullshit not engaging shit. Oh, that was a nice straight though when he got back up. Oh, chew my words yeah, just as I say I'm just, that. Yeah, just, I know, yeah, going straight in for that single leg. Here he goes to take the back again. Oh, what a slam. Straight to the... Mate, he's so slick at that. It's unreal. He's so slick to get to the back, man. I wish I had that talent. He's got that underhook there, so he wasn't going to get away. If he can keep him here and just fucking punish him for the next minute. He's got this one in the bag. But he ain't rare na naked choking, Chris. Like, it's just not happening. He's going for that body triangle now. Holy fuck. Dude. Chris Curtis says, I'm fucking Derek Lewis, bitch. Oh, he turned it over on him. Stand the fuck up. Last 25 seconds. Let's go. Oh, what a knee. Went straight in for that takedown again. I think Chris Curtis is hurt here. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on? What the What is fuck? happening? What is happening? Chris Curtis got injured when he was coming up from that takedown. There. He was like, hurt his leg. Proper injured. And I don't think it was like from. from He's pulled yeah. something. That's it. The fight's over. He's fucked his leg. Hammy's gone or something. Well, that's the end of the end of the fight, but. And Brandon Allen wins it. Well, why? It's the end of the we're fight. In the, we're in the fifth round. It's near the end of it. He can no longer continue, even though it there's was what the ten end seconds. Of the fight. It wasn't. He couldn't continue. They made it to the end. Oh, was it actually the fucking timer? That, I was, was too busy end. wrapped up in the action. <laughs> yeah, that that was the end. So genuinely, right? Okay. I thought there was still some fucking time left, like. But it doesn't look good on the judges, man. Nah, does it fuck? I actually think Chris Curtis won this because of the the nonsense that that uh, Alan was doing earlier. Well, that's if you've got it two and two going into the fifth. If you're going two and two, yeah. Do 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 What did he do? Terry's ACL. Must be Summit. Me personally, I'd give it a draw. Good job, you're not a judge oh, then, innit? Don't, don't fucking say a draw, you can't. What's super close, like? Yeah, I just don't say those words, though. Let the draw happen if it's going to be a draw. You don't speak it into existence. <laughs> if it happens now, it's all Naz's fault. It's fucking Naz's fault. <laughs> It's always Naz's fault. He's already got fucking ten wives blaming this, him for everything at home. He doesn't need you coming in saying this shit. Go eat some biscuits. Look at this. Cunt. He's got a fucking raccoon sitting on his head or some shit. We're getting a split oh, decision again. Oh shit. Pulled it out of the fire, bro. And Brendan Allen. Boom. Motherfucker's still on top. That's what I'm saying. I don't Pulled even give a fuck. Out, <laughs> out of the fire. I think that was the wrong call. It's not a robbery, but I think that was the wrong call. I like Brendan Allen. <laughs> I like him too. I just thought Chris was going to be able to get it done over five rounds, like we just seen. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think Chris did get it done. Striking, over five rounds. striking wise, it was just back. a bit. A bit fucking unfortunate. But yeah, let's wrap this Dude, motherfucker you don't up. You get to call a title shot off a split decision, man. You just hear that? I'm listening now. I want that title shot now. Well, I, it was a banger. You know what I mean, like, yeah, it I'm might have been a split decision, decision but it was a, a split decision banger, though, bro. I'm not, I'm not disputing that, but I mean, 
You weren't exactly chomping at the bit to begin with. But what, look at look at the fucking landscape as it stands. He's not getting it anyway. It's true. From the way that it's going. Shoot your shot. But yeah, fuck it. Thank you very much, folks. Cheers for tuning in. Naz, Wolfie, George, Robbie. Cheers for blowing up the chat, boys. But that's it. UFC Vegas 90. Brendan Allen takes it in a split yeah, decision. Yeah, we're in the stream few. here, sitting comfy on top. Huh? I am, mate, sitting comfy on top. Everybody fucking knows it, and everybody's going to know it in that chat once you go and update that little piece of fucking paper you've got there I think and bang it the fuck in. I think I've got it updated already. Wicked. Uh, let me have a right. look at you. Have you got it? You got it? Let's see it. Bang it up before we go. Uh, and I need a piss as well, so hurry up nah, sometime of the day. Ah, it. fuck it. Right. Cheers, people. Till next time. Peace. What's going on, people? Arnold Allen here. Make sure you subscribe to the Rambling Dad podcast. Keep up to date with all his MMA content, fight breakdowns, interviews, and all that stuff. Give him a follow. Give him a subscription. And, uh, yeah. Get over there.